Guys, it just pulled that water, help yourself. Coach, when you're ready, uh, if you would, use the mic and give us some thoughts and comments, and then we'll take some questions. Shoot. Um, <laughs> we are we're thankful, very thankful. Thankful to God for, for staying with us throughout this year. Um, you have no idea how tough it is to go wire to wire, target on your back. Uh, these young men were challenged, um, dedicated themselves to this season after falling up, coming up short last year. And um, I'm just so proud, so happy, and overjoyed, overwhelmed for them right now. Um, you know, we knew coming in Lafayette Christian was going to be a tough game. Um, but this group of guys never ceased to amaze me week in and week out. They come out and they play better and they play better. They, they respond to challenges. And um, like I just told them in the locker room, they deserve this. And I'm, I'm so proud. Questions? Brandon, um, the way you came out from last year to this year, it seems like today, last game of your high school career, you went all out. Can you tell us your feelings? Did you, did you have it on your mind that you wanted to go out on top but not just that, to do what you can to help your team win? Um, coming into the top 28 this year, I said my goals. Compared to last year, last year I fell short in the championship game to Country Day. So my first goal was to get past Country Day with the win. Then coming into this championship <coughs> game, I knew I fell short by losing the Country Day, so I wanted to win the championship game. And I knew that losing the championship Game last year was a lack of effort the second half, so I just tried to play as hard as I could in both halves, and I think we did it pretty good. Um, Coach, speak about um, this year being a, a team that was highly favored to win and going through the season to keep your team's egos down or not taking a team lightly and complacent. Basically, a struggle against yourself. Um, tell us, talk to us about that coming into this uh, top 28 tournament. Every day I got to be the bad guy, so that, that was it. You know, every day, um, you know, getting on these guys, keeping them humble, keeping them hungry, and it wasn't a hard job because these guys are all good kids. Um, they were self-motivated, um, you know, and they all bought into the, the philosophy of, of team and, and together everybody achieved more. So, you know, each each game we probably had a different guy list and scored at least six different games this year. Uh, six different guy lists and scored this year different games. So these guys were just focused on one number, and that was winning, winning the next game, winning the next game. Um, so it wasn't very hard because they had a goal, they set a goal, and from one week after the season last year, they've been on it. Talk a little bit about the, the specific effort today, though. I mean, you all came in. Uh, defense, we know, was, was stifling in the semifinals, and I think it was more of the same again today. Everybody likes to look at the fact that you all score a lot of points, but again, defense was huge. That's big, and that, you know that's the biggest. This that's the biggest challenge, Robin, that, that this team presented to them this year. We've always been known as offensive teams. Oh, they got talent, this that, and the other. But this year, this group of guys really brought in, bought into playing defense. You know, our goal every game try to hold opponents under 50 points a game. And you know, everybody kind of thought us and Lafayette Christian maybe a little shootout. But in our mind, we wanted to hold these guys under 40 points, less than 10 points a quarter. And you know, these guys came out and they bought into it. The guards defended. LeBlanc took care of the rim. Um, you know, that, that's been our, our, our mantra the entire year. You know, just playing defense, playing defense. 34 and 0, what's it like? Oh, it's a, it's, it's a good feeling. Uh, in, in, in the state, 34 and 0. 34 and 0. Yeah, but I mean, it's, that, you know. You know, it, it's, it's, a, it's quite an accomplishment. I was a part of a uh, 36 and 0 team at Glen Oaks in, in 05. Right. Um, and it is, you know, I have Coach Tory Boyer, who's our point guard, who's my assistant coach. Right. So he was able to relate a lot of that to these guys, what it's like, um, the mind preparation that you have to have going in each game. Because every game, you're somebody's championship game. And, you know, you can't go out and take anybody lightly. Right. So, um, you know, we've been, through, we've been through it before, me and Coach Boyer, and we've been preaching this to these guys since the summer, that they had enough talent to go undefeated. Do you see any similarities between that team and this one? The biggest similarity to that team and this team is that these guys genuinely love one another. They're yeah, genuinely they're happy, happy, happy for one another. You know, especially in these days and times of parents and all that crazy stuff with these kids, to get a group of guys as talented as these guys to probably like to be somewhere else after some twenty some points a game to defer sometimes for the overall good of the team to win. You know, that that's big in itself. So obviously, just a love for each other. I want to ask Joshua Anderson. Being that Brandon Sanders is going to be leaving, and you had a big game on well, this game, but you, you took the lead, and it was very aggressive in your play calling. But I wanted you to, to speak that he's going to be leaving, so 
you're going to be the one. What did you learn from this guy this year? Um, every game he comes out, he plays hard. He's a great leader. He, uh, he steps up. He knows how to communicate and tell us, like, he knows what to tell us when we're not playing as well as we could. And, I mean, he's a great leader. And his maturity, he's very mature. And next year, I'm just going to have to, I learned a lot from him. I'm going to have to step up and be a leader. Coach, um, you know, coming off of a good year like you did last year, I asked you this question a year ago about how strong the 1A class, you guys are going to be moving up country, they're going to move up the 2A, and and with that and Riverside, it looks like 2A is going to be a really unbelievable class. Can you tell us your thoughts about moving up? Uh, we're excited about moving up. You know, we, we lose three great, three really good players, Brandon, Samson, Jalen Brown, and Christian Thompson. But we have some good guys coming back, um, and these guys have that championship experience. Each year, they that's what they play for. You know, Riverside's going to be Riverside, Country Day's going to be Country Day. Uh, we're up for the challenge in, in 2A. Josh, how much fun was it out there uh, when you guys got in the rhythm and were running the floor and making a lot of stuff happen? It's a lot of fun. I mean, I love all these guys. And when we're out there just playing together, we're we're a great team. Brandon, uh, being a senior, you know, the, the clock finally hits zero and you take it home um, to the state championship. I mean, what are those emotions like? Um, just knowing that you left everything on the floor, knowing that you played all, all 38 minutes, um, 32 minutes. And, um, just knowing that each and every one of your teammates is happy for you, that you won and that you did it for somebody in Beloit. You know? And just being a leader for these other players that's on the team, showing them, stepping them up with something going to next year or something. So I think it felt pretty good. Um, Any other questions? One last question for Mr. Uh, LeBlanc. Josh, I didn't want to leave you out. Uh, you played a great defensive game. I saw you early in the, in the, when the game first started out. You looked like you was needed to kind of settle down a little bit. I saw Coach pull you to the side and tell you to, to settle down when you missed the easy layups. But tell us about this experience. You're going to be here coming back next year. Tell us about the experience of this game for you. Uh, it feels great as a freshman to be able to play a big role in a game like this, a season like this. Um, I'm just looking forward to the next three years of my career playing Coach Jones and Josh Anderson and the rest of the team. Anything else, guys? Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.